$1.99 in the top right corner. Less than $99. We're about to cross over to $100. Hallelujah. Wait. Okay. So yes. less than $99. Here's what it's about. Adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimal numbers. Now, this shouldn't be too hard, okay? You've probably learned this a little bit already, okay? But for example, they tell me to add 6.2 plus 3 plus 4.25. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is every number has a decimal, even if you can't see it. What do I mean by that? Yes. Like, um, for three example, um, yes. it has like a three, it would be 3.0. You're exactly right. 3.00. Like yes. Because like after the point, it's like getting to like negatives. Okay. And um, the first number to is decimal like the numbers. whole. Uh-huh. Very good. Whole numbers and then after the decimal is decimal numbers. That's what they're called. Okay? So what I want you to see is that even though we can't see this decimal, there's always a decimal at the end of every number, even if you can't see it. So where do we put that if we're going like up and down? So oh, that's what we're fixing to do. If there's not anything after it, you should put like zeros. Yes, we're going to do that in just a minute, okay? So what you're going to do is we're going to work this vertically. Right now it's horizontally. So we're going to work it vertically. What is the most important thing you can remember about adding or subtracting decimal numbers? Yes, Levi? The decimal. Huh? Decimal. What about the decimal? To bring it down. Close. That is what you're supposed to do. But there's something else I'm looking for. What's important to do? To line up. The line seat. them up. Most important thing to remember is that you line up decimals when you're adding or subtracting. Okay? So, 6.2 is right there. Plus, where would I put this 3? Under what? Yes. The six. Under the 6. Why? Because there's a decimal after the 3 even though we didn't see it. Okay? We'll talk about in um, just a minute. Okay, and then 4.25 plus... 4.25. Now, this is really, really critical that I want you to understand. So first of all, we've got our decimals lined up, okay? But, I'll let you answer, what do I need to do with all these missing spaces? Yes? You're exactly right. Okay? Well, we have to. Can yeah. I would because it makes it easier for your brain to see. I just know. pull mine down. And the only other thing is that I want you to kind of do is make sure you're lining things up. In math, it's very important that you don't misalign something because then you're adding something that um, is not in the correct spot. Yes? Can I do it up there? Yes, come on up. So add my zeros up there. Oh, you forgot the zeros. Uh -oh. I already know the answer. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So, did she get it right? Did yeah. you get the same answer? Same yeah. answer? Good. So, the final answer is 13.45. Does everybody understand how you do this? Yeah, that's yeah. really easy. Okay, good stuff. Now, we done? let's look at homos. Let's look at subtracting. Okay? 24.6 minus 8. Okay? What's the most important thing that we remember in this? Put zeros. Put zeros, but before that... Put a decimal decimals. after 8. Put a decimal after 8. Okay? What's my next thing I need to remember? Yes? Um, to put the decimals lining up. Very good. 24.6 minus, where's my 8 going to go? Under the 4. Under the oh, 4. Very good, because my decimal's there. Okay. What should I do with these extra spots? Put them zero. Put zeros in there. That helps you. Okay? And so then we just subtract like normal. Can I do it on the board? Yes, you may. Come on up. Okay. I already got the answer. Good. It's one hundred. Oh. I didn't get that. You're subtracting. I know. Okay? Let's see if she got it right. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get that. Subtract. Oh. Right here. Right here. Oh, the, okay. Right here. Right here. Right here. No, what I did was I um, didn't subtract any of this because I did 4 plus 6. Oh, well, I see. Okay, so you added. And I added wrong. Okay. Very good. Oh, time out. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. We gotta borrow. Go next door. Yes. Oh, I did that in my head. Yeah? That's what I did. Very good. That's did everybody get 16.6? Yeah. Okay. So, basically, you just, re um, you just subtract like normal. I can't tell you how many people do what she did just right there. They are taking 8 from 4, but actually what they end up doing is taking 4 from 8. And that's not the way it works. The bottom number comes out of the top number. You can't take 8 from 4. So that's why we went over here and borrowed and then brought 10 over here. Oh, and 10 really plus 4 makes 14. Does Me everybody too. understand that? Y'all understand how to do subtraction and stuff? Uh, okay. You should learn that probably two years ago. Okay. So that's how we would do that one. Okay. Everybody feel good about it? All right, answer this question for me, 4.65, okay? And if I asked you um, which digit in this number is in the same place as the 2 in this number? 4. What number in this problem is in the same place as the number 2 in this problem? 6. Okay, well, let's see. <gasps> I know, I know. Where would my decimal go on this number? Uh, right behind the 2. Right behind the 2. Oh. Okay. Or four. Does everybody see that? Good job. So it is the first number, which is the ones place. Ones place. Got it? Okay. Good stuff. I believe that one's it. Yeah. Are we on the next Okay. Lesson? Let me ask you this. If I said five, and I wanted you to compare that to 5.0. It's we say equal. It is equal. Very good. Because 5 is 5 with a decimal, and I can add as many zeros as I wanted at the end, and it still is the same thing as that. Did you know that you can add as many zeros? Yeah. Okay. Can you add as many zeros before, too? Can it be the same? Yeah, because it has no value before the main number. So, yeah. Okay, as you said. Yeah. Okay. Go on and click that, Levi. What? Please. Click it? Click. Turn that off. Oh. All right.